going to win this battle with the lumberjack. That's going to be that. I'm putting my money on Clayton. Uh, Brett Morris, he's a dairy farmer, and this is his farm that we're on, and, uh, hey, all right, <laughs> this early in the morning. <laughs> hey, we got to make cattle. That's right. We got to make right. some beef. Um, of course, LeBron bringing a lot of sex success to Cleveland, but just not enough. Not quite not enough. Not quite <laughs> enough success. <laughs> in the 90s, I thought, lots of fun tweets, so we'll start with D, who says, in the 90s, I thought that computers were much easier to use. Remember the green flashing, you know, in the dial-up Oh, zone? yeah, sure yes. do. And I uh, thought nothing will ever be as cool as crystal meth. Pepsi. I'll grow a bead. Yeah. Because it's, it's in my jeans. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's in your jeans? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, well, I'm a witness here. What I seen was a horrible, tragic situation. The guy was coming down, and I guess the police was trying to do a stop point. The man said, no, not today. And they began to race behind each other like cats and dogs. The police officer got behind the man, and the police car just twisted around like a tornado girl. And the Lord just shook it up, and the man just got injured. His head went to one side, and his body went to the other side. And girl, he hit the pole. And now the result is this police officer don't know if his life is going to continue to make it, or he going to just tap out. Lord be with this young man. He need a blessing. I was actually going to buy me a piece of um, burger from Burger King, and I just stopped right in the middle because my hunger just went away. Because when I seen that accident, girl, I just began to be nosy, and I just had to just understand that somebody was experiencing this difficulty moment that was just not... <sighs> Ma'am, I just cannot bear to continue to talk. <laughs> I... Okay, Ooh. Nope. Yes, please. Okay. On May 17th, the police say the investigation into who shot who and how many of the nine, <laughs> if any. People in Antioch acting like they never seen fire before. Come on, fam. My hot box is thicker than the smoke will ever be. Story this morning. Now here's Charlotte with more on the situation in Greece. Ed Miliband's so, so. too good for this fucking country, to be honest. No, no, you can't swear on oh, daytime sorry, television. Sorry. He shot 17 over, missing the cut. Our cuts were they 40 over next. Burr! <laughs> actually holding up. Thanks. Oh. Get my way. Op het programma. Alleen artiesten die spektakel combineren met humor. Sorry, het is grappig. En die komen zo wel uit België als uit het buitenland. Zoals geld schitter. So in Luton, for example, more than half of pupils speak English as an additional language. Here in Peterborough, it's 39%. But in central Bedfordshire, the figure is much, much lower just 5%. Well, Tom may have been disappearing in his report there. I'm very pleased to say he's reappeared in the studio. Now, in the past few weeks, uh, the SPCA has been receiving uh, calls. Sorry about that. Hi. Have a nice day. Thank you. Sorry about that. Will they trade it? What has the departure of David West done to the team's plans? Oh, gotta like that on live TV, huh? The, pace, the pace mates enjoying some free airtime. Boy, where was I? Wow. New NBA rules. This is no longer a foul. Oh, that's no longer a foul. We learned that tonight in the Golden State game. Thank you, Jeff. Actually, you should have come down and hacked me a little harder. You should have taken a saw and sawed off my arm. That is still not a foul. That's allowed. Yeah, it's not a foul anymore. Not a lot of calls and a lot of hacking going on. And frankly, in the first quarter, Golden State could have gotten away with this. Hey, LeBron, you want to get to the basket? Uh-uh, no way. But let's face it, folks, after the first quarter, it was all about the Cavs and their shooting performance. And did you know that J.R. Smith and uh, Shumpert made four more shots than I did in tonight's game? This is what they were playing with tonight. This is what they were playing with tonight. Not basketballs, but bricks. Where are you in Morris? I'm in the back of my tractor trailer. Yeah, and where is our, how close to Interstate 80 are you? Uh, just about uh, 
a half a mile. South of Interstate 80? Just south of it, yeah. Okay, uh, it looks like that circulation, that tornado is between Morris and Seneca. And, and is it raining heavily around you now? Yeah, and the wind's blowing really heavily, like it's a blast from Howard Stern's asshole. Oh. Had to have one of those, didn't you? I'm concerned about Ryan back in his truck. Uh, what should he do right now? And uh, right now, Ryan, are you near a building that you could get into? He, okay, he, so he lost the phone. Okay, Ryan okay. said he was in the back of his truck. Now listen, <clears throat> not to be crude, um, but are we to take away from this that Bradley Cooper is now dating Sepp Blatter's oh, sloppy on. second? It's exactly what we're to take away from this. But you know, most guys would be good with this. This could be sloppy 15ths and they'd take it. Hmm. Uh, give us a little bit of the, the premise here. There's basically, you're basically teaching uh, these high school seniors how to get into a little bit of trouble or how to do things without getting into trouble, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just woke up like five minutes ago. Oh, were you, you were sleeping. I'm s Hell yeah. yeah. Dude, it's like six o'clock over here. It's very early. Jesus Christ. Well, we, we appreciate it. It's very you. early. And I'm very tired. You know the Warriors won the fucking championship. Okay, like we gotta Sorry, go. Just okay. Said that for it. You're right, good. Thank you. We're gonna go now. Okay, back to me. Back, back over here, there. Okay. Tonight, we continue our week-long series with Class 3A. We're... Wait for me on the prompter there. Sorry. All right, I think we had a little technical issue there. Pretty obvious. Eyewitness News starts right now. And good evening, our top story tonight. We are uh, Bushnell Park uh, went pink today for the Susan Coleman of, of Connecticut annual race for the cure. And what a cancer survivor is saying tonight about the amazing event. And a manhunt continues in New York after two convicted murderers escape. The latest on that is coming up. Now to a Five Cares event, an overwhelming show of support as thousands take part in the Susan Coleman Connecticut Race for the Cure in Bushnell Park this morning, the annual event helping those battling breast cancer and celebrating survivors. Channel 3's Eyewitness News reporter uh, Sajata Jan has that story. And we're going now right to Hartford, and uh, Roger Suzanne is live in Hartford, where they just had a, 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 a big event in Hartford. Uh, Roger, you're talking Does this offend you? It's the Confederate flag. Is it a symbol of Southern pride or a symbol of hate? And then, what about this? Does this offend you, this word? President Obama said it out loud in an interview and a lot of people are shocked. This shouldn't happen to anyone. Not? The whole thing that we have been talking about is whether are this is terrorism not? or not. And oh, no. I think by it is, it is, it is terrorism. By any stretch of the imagination, you can understand that people are upset. But, you know, we're going to continue to talk about that. The here. president himself said he's angry today. Right. Uh, and local leaders said they are angry, too, that, that violence like this can't happen in a church. But everyone I've spoken to as well has also talked about healing. Yeah. I just think it's, it's really sad that when we have nine people who have so lost Senegal, their lives. We're going to take a break. And we have to deal with something like this. Let's but I think, I think it's important, too, that people see the ignorance of this. An unnerving sight today at a London gay pride celebration, an ISIS flag 
among a sea of rainbow colors. CNN International Simon editor spotted the flag and was able to snap these pictures. Joining me on the phone from London is CNN's international Lucy Paul. This man, quite distinctive from the rest of the crowd, he was mm. dressed in black and white, whereas everyone else was brightly colored, as you can see from the photos. Mm. This man dressed in black and white was waving what appears to be a very bad mimicry, but a very clearly a clear attempt to mimic the ISIS flag, the black and white flag with the distinctive lettering. I mean, if you look at the flag closely, mm. it's clearly not Arabic. In fact, it looks like it could be gobbledygook.